I first ran into the Hawkins boat probably around 15 years ago. Three or four years later, I ran into another Hawkins in the Bahamas, and it was a beautiful fishing boat. I started talking seriously with uh, Cindy Purcell, and we started talking about designing a boat. It was very important for us to have a cabin that had a lot of light, and then I needed room in the back to do some fishing. So they, they worked on it. We came up with a, with a concept, and we liked it. And the rest is developed into this over a year, year and a half. got into the design process with John Hall and Cindy and part of the design was making these compromises that we had the both of us had to be happy with the design. I wanted to optimize the, and maximize the sleeping possibilities so we were able to do that in the salon as well as in this area since it can be air-conditioned and you have all the the windows so there's no claustrophobic feel. We have twin Cummings 480 horsepower engines driving the ZF pods. Uh, what's important to me, I'm not a, a young man or a small person, I can do everything here standing up and I don't pretend to be a, a quality mechanic but I do take care of all my maintenance and I want to be able to not be stranded out in the ocean so I have access to all the important parts of it. The boat is very strong yet lightweight so it becomes a very efficient running hull on the water. Uh, we were, all my other boats that were really gas hogs and this is completely, well, ten times more efficient. It's fast. It, it takes the chop, the Florida chop, very well, which is very important because we cross over to Bimini in the Bahamas quite often. one of our trips to Bimini when we ran into four to six foot seas with a northeasterly wind which created a pretty rough crossing of the Gulf Stream. The boat behaved very well and we made it with no problems. We don't have the pounding. This boat cuts through the wave as opposed to just hitting the wave and bouncing down which is, makes for a much more comfortable crossing. The design and construction process was easy. Uh, the changes were easy to be made. We were always dealing with the owner and the people that were building the boat. It wasn't like anything was set in stone. We had different sketches, different ideas in the design process and as it was being built we had mock-ups to see how it would really look physically and if anything had to be changed it was always easy to be done so it was a very easy process. Designed it, we asked for it to be designed with pods which uh, even further the efficiency of the boat running in the water I think it's come out great. What drove us to have a one-of-a-kind design we love being on the water 
with friends and family, like to fish. We wanted a boat that would best fit our needs. This is part of, of a beautiful compromise. You can cruise in it comfortably, fish in it comfortably, the kids can enjoy themselves, and it's a great seagoing boat.